Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 120. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 112 to 120. Hey, this YouTuber wanted to do something really apparently simple when you look at it, but actually it's quite complex. He wanted to take data. Here's Apple and here's uh, three dates and the unit sold. And he wanted to put it all in one cell with uh, line breaks after each line. So this is the combination of those two, and then the combination of those two, and the combination of those two, all in one cell. Now, actually, this problem had lots of complicated steps. This is just part of uh, the solution. But this is an interesting solution. Now, uh, so we're going to have to do a bunch of concatenating. We're going to have to join the content from these six cells into this cell right here. Now, the only key is how do we get those line breaks? We're going to have to have it word wrapped. But with word wrap, as you move the, the column, it, the word wrap could change. We want hard uh, line breaks. And there actually is a formula method to uh, put a line break. So let's go ahead and do it. The first thing is we need to join this and this. Let's just see if we can do that. Equals, I'm going to click on this cell. The ampersand joins. And by the way, before I do this, there's a lot of tricks combined all into one. I have a bunch of uh, videos. If you don't know about the character or text or ampersand or serial numbers, there's a bunch of videos you can watch up here. All right, let's see if we can join these two cells. Equals that. Ampersand, and then we need a space. So we have to put quote, space, quote, another ampersand and that. So all this formula is doing is combining three things, whatever's in this cell of space and whatever's in that cell. Huh? What? Ah, serial numbers, as we talked about many times in many other videos. Uh, dates are not actual dates. They're serial numbers, the number of days since December 31st, 1899. So that's how many days since December 31st, 1899. Ah, so, um, and this is one of the most important lessons in all of Excel formulas do not look at formatting. So we're getting into trouble with concatenating, but you can get in trouble with that, with rounding and all sorts of things. Formulas don't look at formatting. So let's hit F2, and let's put the text function around this, because there's a way to take that number and format it like we would see it. Text function is what we're going to use. It wants the value which it has, and then comma. And the uh, format text. We actually have to, in quotes, tell it the custom number format. So here we're going to say M slash D for month slash date slash year, 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 end quote, close parentheses. Um, now, where, how do you find out what where this is? How do you learn about custom number format? Well, there's books and there's tables of stuff. But here's a, a, cheap, a quick, easy way. Um, click in this date cell right here and Control-1, which is Format Cells. We're going to open up the Format Cells dialog box. Notice it has the date, but you can cheat. You could actually go down here and click on Custom. Ding, 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 ding. And you can do that for any of these things. You could click on Currency, right? Go down to Custom, and it would show you what it should be. Click on percentage, go down to custom. Oh, look at it. So that's a cheap, that's an easy, cheap way to learn your custom number format. We want a date, we wanted that one. So when we click right there, we could see, uh, and they used four, but you don't have to. I'm going to click close on that. So that's how to learn about custom num number format. Now I'm going to click in this cell. I'm going to actually expand this way out here and hit F2. Now we have only the first line. And if we were just to continue, we could actually could continue by copying this and pasting throughout this formula, but it would all appear on one line. We need a way of having an automatic hard line break. Well, there's a way to do it. Turn. And here's how you do it. Ampersand to join something new, and we're going to use the character function. And it's the number 10 that we have to put in the character function to get this formula to recognize a hard line return. And now what do we want? We have uh, that, but we need this line and this line concatenating here. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of this, because we need that two more times, and we'll just change the cell reference there and there, Control-C. I'm going to click right there and put an ampersand, Control-V, and I'm going to change that so we get the next line. Double click that C13, double click that D13, click at the end, ampersand, and then Control-V. 
same thing. I'm going to double click that C13, click there, double click that D13, and click there. And there we have it. Um, we have three text, space, and quantity, and characters in one formula. Hit Enter. And sit. so there we have concatenated all of those. And if you had a big long list of uh, set up like this, you could highlight this and two blanks below, and then you could simply highlight it and drag it. And actually, that would work all the way down. You can see I only have two data sets here. And so when we get to here, that would be looking at the relatively correct data. So that's how to concatenate using the text and that special character function. By the way, if you don't have this. Word wrap, it just goes like that. But once you word wrap it, it, it um, breaks exactly where you want it. All right, we'll see you next YouTube trick.